By popular demand, we are back for some more Alan Becker. This requested one was animation versus arcade game. I'm guessing because this involves a lot of inter-game, interdimensional travel, which may have some aspects of nuclear physics or something like that in there. I remember playing quite a few of these arcade games when I was younger. Well, hey, let's go ahead and check this one out. Oh, here's the orange one. The orange one's more powerful because he apparently has an open space, whereas the other ones are all filled in. Uh, emulators, nice. I like emulators. This is cool. We like classic Mario Bros. There's Breakout. Yeah, they're just playing the games as normal for now. I remember Space Invaders, though. That one was also a lot of fun. <laughs> Whoa! That one's, that one's different. Uh-oh. No! That's different than what's in the regular Tetris. Oh, they're all interfering from all the different games. The, the Tetris piece... ...is in the Pong. Okay. Now that would be so cool if you could, like, transfer characters from one game to another. Are they gonna go in there? There we go, Pac-Man. With Qbert. Of course, the orange one just goes straight in there. As we know, the orange one is capable of interdimensional superpowers. Oh, they're all in there now. Okay. Whoa! That's the ship from Space Invaders. <laughs> Just ate it. Wait a minute, if they ate them, did that mean they would all be consumed by them? But I guess this is just the app for Arcade, rather than the actual thing that houses them, since it's an emulator. Yep, go in one side, come around the other. Now that is one thing, I know that's a f of the original game, but I've seen things where like, you know, the east and, and west sides connect, but I've also seen the variants where like the north and south connect. Can you imagine what the planet would look like if that was the case? Would it be kind of a donut shaped? Because if you're going up and down as well as left and right, it's interesting. Now get the little pills to make the ghosts vulnerable. Whatever those are called. Oh, we got it. <laughs> That's an idea. Team Pac-Man. 100 points? Is he gonna do something with those cherries later? They're coming out pretty quick, yeah. Of course, I was never that good at Pac-Man. Maybe they come out faster on higher levels. Fine. 
Oh, they're in the... <laughs> now it's Frogger. With Cubert there. Oh, and Cubert just ate him. That's where the log was from in the Tetris game. I was wondering where that was from. Frogger and Space Invaders. Ooh, that's a challenge. You gotta jump across while dodging the alien ships. It'd be a fun challenge. Look at them. They're making it through. Of course, I'm never worried about the orange guy because he does crazy stuff. Here they are in Tetris. Ooh. Uh oh, is that one guy trapped? He gonna get hit with a line piece? The Pong. <laughs> the Russian guy. <laughs> the fireball from Mario. I love the idea of combining games like this. On to the subject of, you know, if you're comparing these games to, like, interdimensional or interuniverse travel, well, they gotta be compatible, because the laws of physics are different in some of these games, that their properties might not work, like, they might not physically be able to exist, but also they might just have different properties, kind of like your, your weight is different on the moon versus it is on Earth, so you can just jump higher, and you're also subject to long-term health effects of being in microgravity, which can include loss of bone mass. Since these are all similar arcade games, it could be those level of effects where they're technically compatible, but you're going to see weird stuff like this. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> uh, classic Mario Bros. game. Ooh! I mean, the Tetris piece is bigger than the little bars. <laughs> Hit the pal block. I wonder what it'll do in this context. Hit the pal block. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, I was never good at the Donkey Kong game. I actually remember playing it when playing Donkey Kong for Nintendo 64, and you had to beat this twice in order to fight the final boss. I didn't like that part about the game. <laughs> Grab the thing so you can... There you go! Ooh! Auto-fire! Didn't even give him a chance to speed up. There you go. Go after him on his home turf. <laughs> it's got Mario and... Pauline and... It's got all the, the main heroes. He's controlling them. He's the dungeon master. <laughs> this is crazy. They're making up the top.
Whoa! That's cool! This is the sort of dimensional stuff. You're seeing these in this sort of quasi-3D format because you're because you're at an angle versus the, the standard 2D Tetris. Okay. So these have been upgraded, in a way. That's just so cool. <laughs> this is bedlam. Though at 3D, it'd be super easy to avoid the alien ship's shots since they're just these little lines, these little squigglies out of the way. If you can just step a few inches away from them, get out of their, uh, get out of their plane of existence, that'd give you a huge advantage. <laughs> we got him surrounded. Is that it? There's one more left. It's not the orange guy. Interesting. Oh, Galaga. <laughs> He's playing well on the computer. Oh, because he's got two players in there. Nice. I'm gonna squeeze him to get him to come out. Oh, I've got a little one. Two little ones. A little family. He just wanted to feed his little family little cars and other intra-dimensional, intra-game stuff. Let me give him the cherries. There we go. All the fruit. There you go, here's orange. There you go. <laughs> Here we are, back to... this. Hubert mode. <laughs> oh, and his little family. <laughs> he feeds them so they can just they just play together. That's that was actually nice and wholesome. It was interesting the uh, yellow guy got to uh, be the hero rather than the orange guy, which we've seen from those other animation versus math and animation versus physics. But, well, thank you very much for the recommendation on that one. I liked, uh, it was cool seeing some old school arcade games mixed with crazy otherworldly stick figure abilities. Plus seeing them all played like simultaneously, I'm sure there's someone's created a version of these games where you play all of them at once like stacked up and the idea of like trying to do frogger with the space invaders and tetris or whatever all all at the same time is is pretty crazy thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time